High-tech security cameras are to be installed at the gates of the Al Noor Mosque next month following the Christchurch terror attacks. The cameras, designed by Texas security company Athena Security and donated by Qatar trading company Al Amira, promise to automatically detect any active shooters and alert authorities within seconds. But some experts say the tech raises concerns over privacy and practicality. Katie Todd has more. The security cameras are a form of artificial intelligence, or AI, never used in New Zealand before. Athena Security say they can detect anyone visibly carrying weapons and provide a live video alert to authorities within seconds, even before shots are fired. After extensive testing with video footage and SWAT teams, CEO Lisa Falzone is confident that the cameras work in 99% of cases. It's a solution that can happen now. We don't, you don't have to wait for legislature changes. It's happening, I mean, happening all over the world, I mean, at least once a week. Uh, and this is something people can put in now to protect themselves. One year after Athena Security commercially launched the security cameras, about 50 organisations, mostly in the US, are using them. Ms Falzone says no active shooters have tried getting past the cameras yet, but simply having them installed is a deterrent. It's used in schools, it's used in businesses, it's used in large companies, Fortune 500, basically anywhere where people are concerned about safety and want to make their cameras a, a proactive and interactive tool rather than just a reactive tool that just records crime. Sean Ryan is a researcher who holds a PhD in artificial intelligence. He says the cameras may be able to provide the kind of eagle-eyed accuracy that no humans could achieve, but warns that we can't solely rely on AI for security. Dr Ryan says similar security companies tend to store footage on servers so they can keep upgrading their technology, raising the question of who has access and what privacy safeguards are in place. And he says other AI security initiatives in New Zealand, like facial recognition cameras in supermarkets, have shown that there is always a margin of error. The technology is never perfect, so they'll have a decision to make about exactly how sensitive they want to make it. Do they want to be able to capture any image of a gun and set off the alarm, in which case they'll have some false positives? Or do they want to dial it down a little bit, um, reduce the number of false positives and potentially have some guns that won't be detected? New Zealand Army Major Abdul Latif Smith has been working with the police to assess security at mosques around the country. He welcomes anything that could better protect worshippers, but says since March 15, there are already a lot of security measures in place to provide authorities with an early warning. So I'm thinking that it's also got to be linked up uh, to the police so that early warning can be provided immediately. Otherwise, it doesn't matter how good your technology is, if you can't uh, warn the appropriate agencies to get to a location in time to react. President of the Muslim Association of Canterbury, Shagaf Khan, says when the technology is first installed, it will just be used by mosque management. Nevertheless, he says the El Noor Mosque community is welcoming the technology. The community is, is very, very happy to have any sort of security measures that, you know, as much as we can add on to the, to the mosque, because the incident is, you know, is still unforgettable. And it's, it's yeah, it's, it's just difficult for the people to forget. So any sort of addition to the security, you know, to the mosque, I think it will just give... Uh, bit of peace of mind and security as well, practically. The cameras are expected to be installed shortly after Ramadan at the start of next month. Until then, armed police remain at the gates of mosques around the country. In Christchurch, for Checkpoint, Katie Todd.